we're going to work on the graphs worksheet. I need to create a link for the kilograms for May with a value which is in the paper recycling worksheet. To do that, I'm going to type equals. I'm going to go to the paper recycling worksheet and I want you to link to that cell. Select it. Press enter. I can see here that this value is connected to paper recycling worksheet and that's the cell it is connected to. Now I need to create a graph. The graph must display the amounts collected for paper and for glass over those months. Let me select the months, hold down control, select paper and glass, let go control. I'm going to insert, I want to insert a column graph or chart. It needs a descriptive title, recycling. It needs access titles here and here. To get them, select the graph, go there, access titles. That one has been selected, so I'm going to put the amount kilogram. This one select it and type in months. Enter. That is now done. I'm going to move this ch chart out of the way to make space for the next one. I now need to create a line graph to display the trend in the recycling of cans from January to May. Let me select the months. Hold on control the cans. Let go control. Insert. Line. Line. There we have our line graph. I must make sure that it has a nice descriptive title. Well, it has a descriptive chart title because I selected the word cans. If there had been a legend, I had to have removed it. To remove the legend, I would have deselected legend. Now, to emphasize this trend, we need the minimum amount to be 200. I'm going to select the Y axis, right click, format axis. Minimum amount is 200. Enter. Close. There we can see the trend. I need data points or amounts. I'm going to select there. Data labels. There we have our amounts. This graph looks correct, but it looks a bit cluttered. Let me just move the whole thing to the side. There my graph looks much better. In the prizes worksheet, we must format these numbers as dates. Select the column. And I want them to display as dates. They must display as short date. Correct. Now in this column, I need to generate a random number. Formulas, insert function, random number, rand between. And the random number has got to be between 1 and 1000. Let me go down. There we are. This question is now finished.